It started raining around lunchtime yesterday and it stormed all the way until this morning, but I had classes and things, but those are done. So I'm gonna head out with my film camera and we're gonna see if we can get some puddles, some, some rain film slash fall photography. I'm um, just gonna take a walk and see, see what I can see. I've never really done any sort of rain photography with a digital camera or otherwise. So this will be kind of interesting for me. So we're going to be shooting some Kodak 200 gold. So same as last time. I also just got some Fujifilm Superior Extra 400. So this is expired as well. This expired in 2008. You can see right there. So this will this is what we'll be shooting next. So you can look forward to that. Um, but as for right now, I'm gonna get out there before everything dries up and I have no video. So I'll see you guys in six to ten days when I get my film back. This is the second roll of film that I've ever shot. And let's take a look at what went well and what maybe didn't go so well. Some stuff I liked, I liked the first one with the car, British flag on top, the Mini Cooper. I really like that one. The one right after that actually, the one of the car, there, I probably should have done a lower shutter speed because, or a higher shutter speed, sorry. Technically lower, but a higher number because I wanted to get the, the drops of water on top of the car, but because it's white, it doesn't look super great, um, or as the way that I wanted it to. So that could have been better. I really like the Here's Jackie with the tiny little pumpkin in the back. I think it's really cute. Um, the picture is not the straightest in the world. I really like that one though. So I took a lot of pictures of this tan building, and this one in particular, I thought, the puddle would be more in the picture, but I guess there's some inconsistencies with what I see in the viewfinder and what actually shows up. So I need to be more careful about that. 
in the future. The one directly after that, though, I really, really liked. Um, it's one of my favorites, I think, from, from this role. The reflection is so good. When I first looked at it, I, I couldn't tell which way was up. I waited there for a long time for their, the wind not to be blowing the puddle, making it all wavy. So that was, like, super worth it. I also really like this railroad shot. And you're probably like, wow, anyone can take a railroad shot. But hear me out, okay? So the fact that it curves to the right, I really like. And I really like the big power lines in it. Um, and then there's that puddle off to the right. I like that as well. I just, you could take a lot. If I had faced the other way, this picture wouldn't have been as good. So I, I liked the I liked the composure of this one. I don't know if you were able to tell, but I played a lot more with shorter focus just to see how how it looks, get that natural blur. So on this one of the railroad, I put a really short focus on so you can see it just kind of blur out and I, I really enjoy that look in that one in particular. This picture right here, I just snapped in the moment. I wasn't even really thinking too hard about it, but it's one of my favorite ones, I think. And it doesn't even really fit the rain theme. I just took it and I, I really like it. This one of the leaves is another one that I really, really like. And I did a super short focus range on this one as well. So you can see that the, the front leaves are super sharp and then it just goes completely blurry. Yeah, those leaves were actually on a hill and that's why it looks the way that it does. It's kind of strange if you're seeing it for the first time, but that's how I got that shot. And the last one I'm gonna talk about is the one with the pavement and the water is drying out. I just, I, I like it a lot. I don't know why, and the lines are faded. It sort of matches the way the water is fading away. I just like it. I don't know if a real photographer would, would think of it that way, but I really, uh, I really like this one. And uh, that concludes my second roll of Kodak Gold 200. It's definitely, interesting getting used to shooting on film and I'm halfway through a roll of Fujifilm Superior Extra 400 and that's expired film that expired in 2008 so that's the next video so that'll be super interesting um, so make sure you're subscribed so you can catch that one but I I had a good time shooting this roll and I'm, I'm really enjoying film photography. So if you want to see more film photography videos, uh, make sure to subscribe and comment down anything you, you liked or any feedback um, because I'm pretty new at this. So that's going to do it and I'm going to leave you guys with my top five favorite pictures from this role and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.